Hello, this is Robin Brooks. I'm the founder of PPCL. I'd like to talk just for a few moments to tell you what you're going to see if you come along to our stand. You'll see how we give you a much better way to achieve your OPEX expectations than you have today. And most of the problems you have today are that there is a lack of feedback. So we're not only going to address that with operating envelopes, providing a very easy non-mathematical way to get all the feedback you want at your desk whenever you want it, but also a better way to set the limits in the first place in sympathy with the many, many uh, contributory factors you have to OPEX limits. And for those of you who are really interested, we go into real time with real time modelling of the operating envelope again without maths, and give you an OPEX digital twin, which you could run on your desktop before you put it in the control room and satisfy yourself that it's really going to do the job for you. What's an operating envelope? Well, there's a picture of an operating envelope. Most of you have never seen this before. Uh, it's based on a parallel coordinate display, which draws the axis for each variable vertically from top to bottom, these pink lines, instead of horizontally and at right angles as you've been accustomed to in a conventional graph where you can only really see three variables. Here we can see a thousand or more if we wish. There's a horizontal scroll bar to move back and forth. And most of this data is going to be plant data, the process data that, which contains the causes of your achievement or non-achievement of your OPEX targets. So all those variables up to there are process variables, cause variables. These ones to the right, with little triangles on them, are result variables. That's the result of operating the process this way and then measuring later what it is you made. In other words, these are variables you can't measure in real time, only afterwards. They might be financial results, they might be emissions results, they might be uh, product qualities. And in fact, in this case, for this example, I'm using the product qualities measured from the process samples taken on this process every eight hours or so. And those can be very valuable. But it takes several, two or three hours to process them and get the results back to the operators. And at that point, the operators say, well, OK, that result relates to something we made, the way we were operating, three or four hours ago. I don't quite know how to relate that to the way we're operating now, because things have changed in the meantime. So we'll see how to do that. These triangles are actually the specification limits on the product qualities. They're OPEX limits, aren't they? You must achieve in-spec product quality. There are many other things you want to achieve as well. And just doing this, just picking out the operating envelope in this way, and giving the operators the high and low operating limits, that alone in this plant took us from 82% up to 85% specification overnight. That's worth a lot of money in a plant like this. And we've learnt a lot. We've been doing this now for 20 years or more. We've learnt a great deal about the capabilities of operating envelopes and how they relate to operating objectives. You can see the objective there defines the operating envelope and how they relate to changing process capability, but we won't touch much on that today, except to say that all three of these things are interrelated. Change any one, and the other one or two may need to change as well. Now, OPEX, we're setting objectives of what we want to achieve, Our OPEX targets, if you could prefer to call them that, and today the focus is on quite a narrow variety of the contributory factors to OPEX targets, mainly because many of these factors are located in other departments. They're scattered across the refinery or the plant. They're updated at infrequent intervals or at different intervals. 
and many of them actually may be quite hard to find. You may find that some corrosion limits, for instance, exist only in one particular spreadsheet that's maintained by an individual, primarily for its own purposes. So, one of your first challenges will be, do you know where all these data sources are? Do you have access to them? If not, perhaps it's time to start formalizing the business procedures and processes around these areas and get them so that you can consolidate all of the objectives into an inclusive operating envelope. And that will actually be quite a revelation to you, even before you've started talking about real time and achievement. Just putting all those envelope objectives together will probably show you some inconsistency between them. That the objectives in one area prevent you achieving the objectives of another area. Operators then operate to the new operating envelope that contains all these objectives and give you the improved results that you desire. And using the offline CVE software that some of you will probably have already in your plants, even though you may not know it, you can check on those results whenever you want to, from day to day, from hour to hour, or you can wait for the end of the month and the nice reports you get today and see how relevant they are. You can do things like checking that the leading KPIs that you have so many of, which are intended to contribute to achieving success of lagging KPIs, well, do they really? And how well? Here it's very easy to cross-check. We've been working on property envelopes a long time. We can predict the performance of particular envelopes. We can predict which KPI qualities or targets are most likely to be achieved and in what proportion. We can pick out the process variables that have the least useful effects on achievement. And of course, we can tell you where to improve your process operation next. What is stopping you getting better KPI results? If you want to go beyond this to predicting results, well, you would need to add our CPM product and take yourself into real time. That gives you a real time model of an operating envelope, which can show the operator that he's or show you that you're actually going to violate an OPEX limit in some future time if you don't make a change. Now, mostly you have plenty of time in that prediction to see the change. But the important thing here really is these are available now and to build these kinds of models you don't need any mathematics. That means many many more people in your organization will feel comfortable using them. So come and see. Thank you for your time.